this is what blows my mind, guys. This man who claims to be a preacher, uh, you know, a biblical word, a bishop, you know, this guy claims to be, you know, a minister of God. He claims to be, you know, a serving Jesus and that he loves Jesus and that he's he's this great Christian male, you know, great example that we all should be looking up to, you know. But the real truth is this guy's a devil. You can hear it in his, you know, in his words, the things that he says, the way that he says it, um, you know, it's 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 what he says and it's the way he says it and people need to pick up on that because this man is just evil to the core listen to what he says and then tell me if you think this is a man of god i think that's pretty clear that god knows every baby before he even forms them in the womb but it's okay to take that little baby in there and kill that baby because it's not convenient for you to raise that right child here, guys listen you filthy, wicked, disgusting, fornicating whores out there. You think that's how a church pastor, or excuse me, that's a preacher, a man of the of the church, right? Of the of the of the the body of Christ. You think he's a part of the body of Christ speaking like that? Speaking like that to people? You think that's gonna win anybody to the Lord? Yes. I what he's talking about is absolutely horrible. It's it's ungodly, it's unthinkable that someone could do that. However, people make mistakes. Women, people are deceived, just like Freemasons, you know. Uh, women make mistakes, and a lot of them are misguided. Their parents um, push them into making mistakes like this, not justifying it. It's it's just as wrong as, you know, everything else. Actually, it's more wrong. You know, you don't sit there and do this to little babies, but that's not what, I'm, what the message is about. The message is about what this man says and the way he said it in there and kill that baby because it's not convenient for you to raise that child you filthy wicked disgusting fornicating whores out there that's what i want you guys to, to, to hear and pick up on this guy listen to the way he says things look at his eyes look at his eyes when he when he calls for bloodshed he'll call for the death and destruction and later on in this video he's going to say that he wishes that he could harm uh each person that that has this procedure done uh, he wishes he could and I'll, I'll play that video for you. We're going to get to it. But I just wanted to show you guys that this is not a, what a man of Christ sounds like. This is not a man of God. Yes, we all fall short. Yes, none of us are perfect. But this is absolutely horrible, wicked, evil, vile, disgusting, ungodly, unchristian, unsaved. I mean, it's just horrible. And it's sad because if you look at the, the, the man that Brian is today compared to the man that he was in 2000. 10 you know when i first started watching 2011 totally different person totally different man now some people like to say that oh you know it's his wife a cia jesuit who was sent in to um turn him into the man that he is today and that's for your all's own just you know judgment yes she's obviously a jesuit a freemason and a high-ranking cia government official so you know could, could that have been her, her mission? Yes, it could have. However, you guys are going to have to come to your own conclusions. I'm just trying to point out to you guys that this man is no saved man. He is not a man of uh, of, of God. No man would speak like this. I get it. He's 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 trying to speak. People are going to say, oh, you don't understand. He's trying to speak from a, a man that's, that's, that's mad and it's, 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 it's against this and yada, yada. I'm mad about it too. I'm against it too. But I would never be uh, making a video calling, calling women that names calling for bloodshed, and, and and then just calling them those vile names. So, uh, you know, like I said, not saying that I disagree with what he's talking about. It's just the way he says it. It's his, the way he goes about getting his message out there. Uh, the words that he uses, the, you know, the demons in his eyes, when his eyes, you know, are, are black as night, pitch black, you know. So you guys come to your own conclusions. But Brian Denlinger is not only a wolf in uh, sheep's clothing, but he's also a evil devil that called for bloodshed. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to be working on some more stuff on him. Don't think I forgot about him. Just been busy. Um, so look forward to that. I got a few days off. And uh, some Brian and Linger videos are coming.